I think one should understand that the, when decisions were made several decades ago to have a, uh, a very cautious regulation about biotechnology, that was against the background that it was then a new technology about which relatively little was known. And I think it was rational at that time to have rather restricted regulation because too little was known uh, about this technology. But what has happened in a couple of decades is that we have learned a lot about genetics, biochemistry, ecology, not the least, which means that we now have uh, very much knowledge about uh, biotechnology and we can assess the effects of various uh, uh, technological measures taken uh, in a very precise way. So today it is absolutely wrong to describe uh, the use of biotechnology as going into the unknown. We know a lot of what can happen and can judge when there is and when there is not a risk of uh, something serious happening that, that we don't want. The problem though is that the legislation we have is adjusted to uh, the uncertainties that we had several decades ago. So we have now a legislation that is rather strict in issues where we had uncertainties several decades ago and don't have any more, whereas I don't think we have a legislation that is very good at dealing with the new uncertainties that arise in various technological fields. And that, I think, should be rectified so that we can deal with the uncertainties we really have to deal with.